we are going to be doing a contour line drawing with some string. The way that we're going to do that is we are going to be putting tape on to a mat. So if you overlap the tape, that would be great. This is so that the string can adhere to something. So we're just going to fill it up with tape. Overlap. Continue doing that until it's completely covered. If it does take some stuff off the table, it's okay um, because we're going to be painting it later, so you're really not going to see any of the little extra stuff that it picks up. Just make sure it overlaps just a little bit. So then if I flip that over, what's going to happen is it's going to have a nice sticky surface for some string to adhere to. We're going to be using a repurposed marker in order to make our string pen. What we're going to do is we're going to go the opposite direction with about four feet of string. And this is so that it goes completely through. If you go the other direction, that's a little bit harder for the string to go through. Once I am done feeding it, I'm gonna be able to have a little tail and then I can start pulling it through, but make sure that you're aware that you just need a little bit of the string to um, start your first line. So I'm pulling it through and making sure that I have just a tiny bit of that string. I have a little bit too much, so I'm gonna wait I get my paper and I'll start. Now with this you guys can use anything that you want as far as your um, image that you'd want to draw. So if you want to print something out or if you want to draw something out to begin with you can. Just make sure that it's um, dark so when you press down you're able to see it. I want to make a lion so I'm just going to be using something that I found online. It's not going to look exactly like the lion because I am just using a string. So I'm going to start with the nose. All I'm doing is just sticking that down and then I'm going to be drawing with it. So um, now that my finger is off, I'm just going to continue being able to draw with it. It does go pretty quickly once you are once you get going. You're going to be drawing it just like a regular pencil or a pen. Um, I'm pushing down with my hand in order so I can see the line drawing underneath. But you can see that it's a nice flow. Typically with contour line drawings you are using a pen and you are just not picking up the pen as you draw. So we're going to really have to do this because it is a long piece of string and you can't cut that string. So this is really good practice for contour line drawing. I'm going to continue going into the face. Right now I'm going into the hair and I can go back in. You can make some double lines as well. And it's flowing pretty quickly. So all I'm doing is tracing. be able to see it as you go. Anytime I move the pen, a little bit of the string is attached and that's because of the adhesive of the tape. My suggestion would be to use painter's tape for this. If you use clear tape, I'm not really sure if the plastic is going to take the paint, but because of the painter's tape, you are able to paint on it and it's, it's paper with adhesive. I'm going to go back into the face. 
so that I'm repeating some line. Excuse my hand, I was trying to keep it vertical so that the, the string would keep going onto the surface. If you need more string for yours, just ask. I'll get you some more. Um, I just picked up some extra stuff and I'm just trying to take it off the tape. No big deal because when I paint it, it will go away. Right now I'm trying to adjust the last little bit of the string so it looks like it will be finished. Seeing if I'll be able to do it with the end of my pen. I think I'm just gonna do it with my hand at the end. You can wrap it around your pen and just stick it down. After this, you are going to be painting your background and the string all one color. The choice is yours as far as what color you'd wanna do. So here you can see the lion. It is completely drawn with the contour line drawing. Looks pretty cool, uh, but I'm gonna add some white so it really make it stable. The tape, if it's by itself, will not be stable enough. So I'm gonna add a bunch of white down. If you wanna use a different color, go for it. You can use red, you can use pink, you can use teal, you can use a mix of colors, your choice. But what we're gonna do at the end is we're going to do some prints off of this and uh, we're going to do some edits. So it'd be your choice as far as how you're going to edit your piece. So I'm just adding a bunch of white. More looks like a relief piece at this point. You can still see the lion's face. If you want to make your piece vertical, you can, or horizontal, that's your choice. We are going to mat these again so you don't have to worry about the edges, so you can paint outside the edge. Once you're done with that, you get to choose a different color. This color is going to be rolled on with either a brayer or a paint roller. I believe I chose black for this. If you want to use a different color, that is up to you. What it's going to do is it's going to just touch the top of the surface and um, because it is almost like a print, we can make a few prints with this. If you don't want to do a print, you don't have to. Um, that is your choice. And I thought it would be fun for you to see that it could be printed a few times and then you can make um, some coloring options into it as well. All right, so I'm gonna be done with this. Now I'm gonna go into it with some black paint and a roller and when I roll it on you're gonna really see the image there's a string pretty cool now when I'm done with that I can go ahead and get a piece of paper and make a few prints so what I'm gonna do is just roll it on I'm gonna grab a 
piece of paper that fits the whole thing, lay the paper on and rub the back, and I can make a few prints off of that. Now, every time you do make a print, you have to make sure that you add more paint to it. So I'm rubbing the back. I'm gonna pull the print. I have another lion. Now I could do another one. This time we can see it facing us. So I'm going to pull another print with that so I can go ahead and give that to a friend if I want to and say here's a coloring page you can color it or you can keep it for yourself. You can make as many as you want of these. Now after you're done with that what you're going to do is you're going to get a pencil. Um, you're, you're going to dip this color pencil into water. What this will do is it will adhere to acrylic paint that is down um, on your surface. This will make it easier for it to show and you can layer it as much as you want. So what I'm doing is I'm dipping my brush, or I'm sorry, my pencil <laughs> into water, making a little bit wet and then applying it. And I'm going back and forth You can use as many colors as you want. You can make the background a completely different color. But this is also going to help your piece look three-dimensional with some of the coloring from the paint that you laid down. So I use black paint, so it kind of gives those the illusion of shadows. color the background, adding water to my pencil, back and forth, back and forth. And when it's done, I'm going to allow it to dry. I could add more onto it later, but I'm going to put a mat on top so it doesn't look so messy. So this is what it looks like when it's dry. And then this is what it looks like with the mat on. And then here's another one that I did just to test out this theory of the tape. And it worked for a nice contour line drawing, so I did it again. But I made a face and I used pink in the background and I used purple for the top when I was rolling it on. And then here's my print. Now with those prints, you can go ahead and use them as a coloring book and color them. So if you have time, this is something that you can do. I'm still dipping my pencils in the water and I'm coloring with them. Now the thing is, we need to figure out what we're going to be drawing. If it's an original character, go ahead and draw it out. If it is something that you want to use, um, like a coloring page, we need to find that and we need to send it to me so I can print that off for you and we can get started on this project. So first step is printing out the picture and then we'll go from there. <laughs> 